happy new day. Happy Wednesday. Um, let's see. This is a waxing moon. And it's a Wednesday. In a quarter of a mile. Turn left. Wednesday is a beautiful day to um, seek inwardly. You know, go within. Um, Wednesday is a beautiful day to uh, seek. It's, it's a beautiful day to tap into your creativity. Turn left. Love then your ideas, turn right. Love your inspirations. Um, take a tally of what you've been working on and and figuring out, you know, is there anything that does not align with your vibration? Turn right. And figuring out how you can, peace queen, figuring out how you can get in alignment in every area of your life, you know. Um, a lot of us live off of uh, have tos, you know. I have to do that. How will I, how will I live or how will my relationship sustain or how will I do whatever um, if I don't do these things? I have to do it. Well, if you have anything in your life that it's really is causing you any kind of imbalance, you really want to reflect upon how can you bring bring it to balance. You really do. The topic today is ego and how ego leaves us vulnerable. I was just thinking like, you know, it's very essential for us to protect our energy. You know, um, and when I say protect, I don't mean, you know, the world is dangerous. I just mean you may run into so many different things that can take you off of your square, that can take you off of your balance, whether it's people, situations, things are always happening. You know, uh, everything is always shifting and changing. The moon is always in a different phase. You know, um, our emotions are always, you know, it's, it's, it's just up and down. Life is up and down. So it's essential for you to uh, get your grounding, figure out what brings you, how, how you can sustain your peace in your life, create regimens, do things like that. Peace, Tabitha. And uh, create a balance for yourself, you know, your own personal balance. And only you know what can keep you there. But the one thing that really um, messes us up is ego. It's ego. Uh, we don't want nobody disrespecting us. So, you know, if somebody come and trying us, you know, we we lower our vibration to their vibration. Um, we, our ego also has us wanting to control things, you know, making it difficult for us to put things out in the universe and allow them to unfold on their own. So ego has us stressing. Ego has us anxious. And the ego that I'm talking about is this human mind. You know, we are spiritual beings having human experiences. And so um, we are subjected to this, this human experience. And within this human experience, uh, we could get caught up in what's going on presently. Uh, we can get caught up with what our eyes can see and oftentimes move away from what we know to be true about the omnipotent source of life, you know, it's abundance, it's infinite opportunities, you know, it's ever growing and our connection to that. And when we are not grounded in a sense of knowing, not faith, not believing, but in a sense of knowing, then oftentimes our ego comes in and uh, pushes us to make things happen, pushes us to protect ourselves via trying to, you know, um, trying to take up for ourselves when it's not necessary. Now, I'm not saying that we just let people treat us in a kind of way and all those different things. I'm just saying that we have to make our decisions and make our moves in spirit first and then move forward. Because every time you consult spirit first, then your movements will cause First of all, you will find success in your movements. Secondly, you won't you you will avoid the imbalance that comes along with you just making rash decisions or just doing things because you know you want to feel good at the moment. You know, so ego, you know, dying to self. I can give an example. Uh, I was on the 
horn, as some of my <laughs> country folks would say, <laughs> country like me. I was on a horn with um, someone. And, you know, I kind of felt like I, before I even started the conversation, I already felt like it was going to be a tense conversation. And, you know, I shot up prayer out, just like made this conversation. In a quarter you know, of a mile, balance, turn left. Be easy, you know, and, you know, those kind of things. Then I began the, the conversation. And sure enough, the conversation was tense. There were some things said that I didn't like. Not necessarily what was said, but how it was said. But I kept Turn asking left. myself through the whole conversation, because this is not someone who I feel like, you know, is out to harm me or have ill wishes on me. I just feel like I, I was having to deal with their stuff. In 800 feet. You know? Turn so, right. I kept asking myself throughout the whole conversation when I felt my blood getting like, woo. <laughs> I kept asking myself, why are you upset? What is making you upset? This has nothing to do with you. Of course, you already knew that they're dealing with this, they're dealing with that, they're already tense. So why are you getting upset? What is the point Turn right. of you getting upset? And I kept, it kept going to you just feel some type of way. And so I had to resist you know, stooping down or getting on that low vibration uh, because it was no point in it. I was just feeding my ego. And, you know, it wasn't going to balance it out for me to come back at the person in the way that in they were In a was quarter of a me. mile. And so right. what was the point? You know, if, it, if it's not seeking balance, if it's not seeking for movement, then there is no point to entertain anything. And so I just was quiet, allowed them to say what they had to say told them you know thank you for sharing i understand and um let it and and i ended the conversation now afterwards i had to do some deep breathing and get myself back centered get my temperature down you know get myself back centered but i'm so grateful because now in life it doesn't take me any time you know to get myself back to my center and i'm very much so Slight cognizant right. of situations conversations people who bring me out of my balance and I do what I must in order to protect myself, you know, and I'm adamant about protecting myself. It's nothing else that matters. This whole idea of, oh, they disrespect me. Or in 600 I can, feet. I can let all that go. You know, that it don't matter, you know, unless you trying to harm, you know, my family or me or something like that. I'm not about to allow Turn anything left. or anyone. Then your destination will be on the right. Hold on, y'all. What? Oh, okay. I see what that is. Yeah, so I'm not about to let anything or anyone move me off of my square. Why? Because my square is what helps me to continue to manifest in life. You know, um, it helps me to stay in alignment with my heart. Your destination is on the right. Versus manifesting energy or things or situations that I really don't want. Because the more you are imbalanced, trust me, the more you are imbalanced, the more you're going to attract situations and things that bring imbalance. And so you have to be, you have to be adamant about your peace. You have to be adamant about your peace. That's what protection is all about. You know, when you hear spiritual workers talking about protection, maybe you thinking, oh, we've been protected from these demons and all this stuff. You know, we've been brought up in, in, in a religious society that has um, have us thinking that, you know, the spiritual warfare is all about these dark, spooky mm. spirits roaming around. I mean, that's a good visual, but um, the spiritual warfare is the fact that in this human experience, with all of these senses that we have, with all of this stimuli that we have, we have so many ways, things that can throw us off, right? And peace brings you your prosperity. Peace, balance brings you your abundance. Peace, balance, and what is peace and balance? Peace and balance is when your heart is light. And your heart is not light if you're upset about anything, if you're sad, if you're angry, if you're resentful, if you're afraid, if you're anxious, if you're stressed, all of those different things, we got to figure it out. You know, 
gone are the days where we can say, well, you know, life, life just stressful like that. I'm just living life. That's just life. No, life don't have to be that way. Life does not have to be that way. And the only way that you can really, truly, sustainably find your peace, no matter what is going on around you, is if you tune into spirit. You got to tune into spirit. You got to tune into your spiritual self. We are spiritual beings having human experiences. Let's not get so caught up in human experience, which it becomes ego, that we forget that the power that we have as spiritual beings first, everything that we see going on around us is because of what we are. We are a vibrational match to everything that's going on around us. So the energy, spirit, soul, all of that, determines what you're going to see manifesting in your world and so wouldn't that make it pretty essential for you to tune into that and make sure that you keep that balanced and so here's some strategies because i can't leave without saying some strategies right <clears throat> you know i can be talking all day and if i don't give any well how do i do this well number one to keep me from dealing with ego i get I have built the relationship with myself, my energetic self. So number one, the thing that has helped me is getting my chart, getting my, my um, astrological chart done so I can know what kind of energy I got going on vibrationally just from being born in a certain star, moon, sun, house lineup. You know, that's number one. So now I know myself. So I can avoid certain situations. I can uh, put myself in situations. I can live more intentionally because I know myself. So that's number one. And I go off of 13 sign astrology because this is what I know to be true uh, as the real astrology. So I get, I got my chart. That's number one. I create routines, morning routines, routines and regimens to keep myself balanced. I spend time in nature at least once a week, oftentimes way more than that. <clears throat> um, I have affirmations. I live off of affirmations. I talk to myself via affirmations. I'm always saying something to myself to program my mind in accordance to alignment uh, so that I can get through situations by changing my mindset because oftentimes situations happen like they do because of how we're thinking about those situations. So that's another thing, affirmations. And then gemstones. This is just three. Gemstones. I faithfully have my gemstones on me. Now, by no means do I feel like gemstones are a magic pill, but by all means, I know that gemstones carry a certain frequency, and those frequency connects with my chakras, and that keeps my chakras balanced. And so when you see this smile on my face, don't think I don't have struggles, I don't have challenges like the next man. I'm just floating through and breezing through the challenges, getting all the lessons and blessings, collecting them things like I'm collecting coins, because I'm rocking with the citrine, I'm rocking with uh, aventurine, you know, when I'm for my prosperity, citrine, for my light, my brightness, my ashe, uh, um, chestnut jasper to keep me grounded, keep my root chakra, keep me confident, you know, keep my root chakra stimulated, keep me confident, keep me on my square, my carnelian to keep me focused and concentrated. And, you know, so my goals and my desires, I can stay on the road because there's so many distractions in this world. You know, that's just a few go-to ones, you know what I mean? Amethyst to keep me calm, keep me settled, keep my first eye keen, those type of things. I keep them on me, you know, and, um, I feel some type of way when I leave the house without them. <laughs> I do, you know, but I do know that you cannot attach to any physical thing. The only thing you can attach to is the knowing that we are of an omnipotent source of life um, that is every, ever present everywhere, you know, um, and we have all access, you know, to it as long as we stay aligned. And getting out of alignment, you know, if we do, allow our ego to get in the way and we, you know, we go through situations and maybe we don't handle them as best as possible. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop the road to your blessing or your desire or your goal. What it does is it's just take you on a little detour, you know, and when you are on your GPS system, if you got a detour, you know, it takes you 
two or three or four or 10, 15 extra minutes because you don't went on the detour. So that's kind of what happens with us. If we don't protect our energy and we start to deal with people and things and all this stuff that throws us off, that's what happens to us. We, we're just taking the longer route. You know, we're still headed to glory. We're still headed to bliss. We're still headed to our blessing. You're just taking a long way. You're taking a detour and you're allowing your ego to take you on that detour. It's just like what we do on the road. You know, it's like, I, I don't believe Google. I think this is faster. Oh, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. 15 minutes extra. <laughs> So when we on the road, we're square, we got our focus, we got our balance, we know our goals, we know our visions, and we're moving forward. And then we allow this person over here to get on our nerves and throw us off and make us upset and get us anxious. And we let this situation cause us stress and we let the supervisor and the job and the children and all these different things we're attached to in this world, we let it get under our skin, so to say, get us off balance, throw our chakras off because now we're trying to control everything. Now we sad, now we resentful, now we anxious, now we stressed and all this stuff. All you're doing is taking a detour. But trust and believe good is always, always seeking you. So seek it. Seek good. Die to self. Forget it. You know, whatever it is, if it's not bringing you peace, joy, happy, don't do it. Don't deal with it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk to them. Don't go around. Don't go to it. Don't do none of it. The only thing we should seek is balance, peace, love, happiness, bliss, uh, um, achievement, you know, motivation. That's how we should be every day. And if you think I am just one that likes to bury my head in the sand, you know, you just always talk about this positive stuff. You can, is it possible to always stay positive? It is. It is. That doesn't take away challenges. It doesn't take away the desire to to go in sometimes or you know just go off or just do whatever the heck you want to do just don't even regard your energy uh, but once you realize the benefit of it you'll find it so worth it you'll find it so worth it to be adamant about your peace i'm adamant about my peace it is nothing that can throw me off at, at all times i will seek my peace so i love everyone and every all of that but what's number one to me is me and my peace. All right, y'all. I don't went way longer than I. I be trying. I be trying. But uh, much peace, many blessings to you. Enjoy the rest of this Wednesday. Uh, if you're in the ATL, I will be at Malcolm X Fest next weekend. Um, and I do have a Mother's Day package that I am uh. <laughs> that I'll be releasing today. I just was working on a part of it, so it's not quite ready yet, but it should be ready today prayerfully uh so look out for that and if you have not yet why have you not picked up the ebook the ebook uh don't just live thrive seven practical rituals to live your very best life pick it up it got affirmations in there meditations i put seven full-blown rituals that you can use on a regular or whenever you need to to get that energy toned up for for uh for uh prosperity abundance peace change i have one in there talking about trains uh, a ritual for change and transformation i have a ritual in there for door opening and opportunities i have a ritual in there for prosperity and uh expansion i have one in there for relationships so make sure y'all go pick up that ebook it's uh uh you know all the links and stuff are on my <laughs> on my uh platforms and uh you can go to queenyen.com look under the shop and you'll see the link that says ebooks grab it you're gonna love it peace